Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to be talking about the dual purpose chickens, which ones are the best for meat and eggs. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So are you curious about the best chickens for eggs and meat? Well, you've come to the right video. Some chickens produce more eggs while others produce great tasting meat. It can be hard to choose between the two characteristics, particularly if you want to be able to benefit from both. To help you decide, we've created a detailed guide on the top dual purpose chicken breeds along with an overview that can help you choose. So what are dual purpose chickens? They are those that can be raised for eggs and for meat. In most cases, you will raise a chicken like this primarily for eggs during its more productive laying years for around one to three years and then cull it for meat. Since the meat can be quite tough at this point as the birds are older, an alternative is to raise a larger flock, keep some of the birds as egg layers and then cull younger ones each year. You'll replenish your stock with eggs that you hatch in an incubator or naturally though, this can be less reliable each spring. Dual purpose chickens make it easier to raise chickens for less expense. You'll also be able to slash your personal grocery budget. And since you'll know exactly where your food is coming from, you can ensure that you're getting a better quality product. There are a lot of benefits to raising dual purpose chickens over traditional only or meat only breeds. For one, you can say goodbye to the worries about having to maintain or feed two separate flocks of chicken. This can be time consuming and expensive, especially if you have to build different housing systems. These chickens tend to be hair breeds, meaning that they aren't as likely to suffer from the many health problems that can plague the more modified breeds of today. So before I dive in, I'm going to answer a couple questions. The first one, how many chickens do I need for eggs and meat? The numbers vary and there's no magic formula. You can use to figure it out. However, for personal family use, you can estimate that you need about two chickens per person. This will give you up to seven eggs per week, depending on the breed. For meat, you'll need about 18 meat birds per person. Again, this varies depending on so many factors and how much chicken does your family eat? Will you eat the entire bird or just the breast? Will you process it down for its bones, for stock and its feathers, for crafts? Consider your family's habits and needs before deciding how many chickens you need. And if you're asking, what do I look for when choosing dual purpose chickens? Here's a few features. The first is what kind of production needs your family has? How many eggs do you eat per week? Like I said, how much meat? Think about your abilities in terms of space. How much room do you have available to raise chickens? Multiple acres, just a small backyard. This will impact both the type and number of chickens that you raise. What sort of characteristics would you like your flock to have? Do you want them to lack flightiness? Should they be good free rangers? Should they have great abilities when it comes to flying away and escaping predators? Do you want them to be friendly lap chickens with whom interacting is easy? Ask yourself these questions first, then consider the top dual breeds. Now, what you've all been waiting for. Now let's talk about the 15 breeds to consider. In my opinion, the best for eggs and meat. I'm sure there's others that after listening, you'll add to this list. These are just based off of my opinion. So if, number one, the Rhode Island Red, both the Rhode Island Red and its close relative, the New Hampshire Red deserve spots at the top of our list for, for the best chickens for eggs and meat. Though the Rhode Island Red tends to be a bit smaller than some of your breeds on the list, it'll still offer a wonderful bang for your buck. These red birds can be brighter or darker in color. Ball have red wattles, earlobes, and combs, indicating they lay brown eggs. They are long-lived chickens, living in an average of six years. The roosters grow up around eight and a half pounds, and hens are slightly smaller, but lay up to six eggs a week. Number two, Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock is another top contender. It was first seen in Massachusetts in the 1800s. It can be raised for both meat and its large brown eggs. May Males weigh around eight pounds while hens are a few pounds less, but lay up to 200 eggs per year. Number three, the black Australorp. The Australorp is a fantastic egg layer known for it having the world record for laying the most eggs in a year. This heavy breed will also provide lots of meat for you. You don't have to choose the black Australorp since the white and blue Australorp will offer similar capabilities. However, the black Australorp is probably perhaps the most prolific and easiest to find in stores. Plus at eight to 10 pounds, these chickens are a great size for the dinner table. Number four is the Dominique chicken. They're America's oldest chicken. They first came in the United States more than 200 years ago and have referred to by countless names since then, including the Old Gray Hen, Blue Spotted Hen, the Dominic Chicken, and Dominicker. These breeds are quite similar to the Plymouth Rock until 1871. They're actually the same breed. They are hardy, self-sufficient birds and are great for both eggs and meat. 
despite the fact that these birds aren't breaking any weight records anytime soon. Roosters grow to an average of seven pounds, while hens come around five pounds and lay about three to four eggs per week. Number five is the Jersey Giant. It's an American breed that is one of the heaviest of all chickens. The only downside to raising the Jersey Giants requires an exceptional amount of food to get this bird to its full size and ready for slaughter. That said, roosters are rarely aggressive and the hens lay lots of large brown eggs, around four per week. These birds are also known for being excellent winter layers. Number six, the Orpington, one of the heaviest breeds on the list. The Orpington is a calm, easygoing bird that is known for being an excellent layer for medium to large eggs. It lays an exceptional amount of eggs and has a calm, cool personality. It comes in several different colors, including black, blue, buff, and white. Breeders have continued to experiment with and perfect this breed over recent years, adding new colors, patterns, and feather types that aren't yet recognized by breed standards, but are still fun to consider. Number seven is the Black Star Chicken. One of the few dual purpose hybrids that exist, this chicken is a prolific egg layer, producing up to 300 eggs per year. Roosters can easily reach eight pounds, making this bird a wonderful choice as a dual purpose breed. These chickens are easy to identify with roosters having black feathers and white dots on their head. They're easygoing, friendly chickens that will perform in the vast majority of climates. One thing worth mentioning is that if you want to maintain a self-sustaining flock of chickens that don't need to be replaced with store-bought chicks, black stars might not be the right choice for you. They don't breed true, so you don't know what you're going to get. Number eight, the Buckeye. They're great dual-purpose chickens if you live in a cold climate. These birds can be a bit cranky towards other farm animals, but otherwise they're docile and extremely adaptable. They can lay around 200 eggs per year and are ready for the dinner table in just about four to five months. And roosters have average around nine pounds. Number nine is the Chantecler. If you live in a cold climate and want to raise a wonderful dual purpose breed, you might want to consider the Chantecler. This bird is docile, matures early, both in terms of when it starts laying eggs and when it's ready to be slaughtered. It's great at free ranging, foraging for its own feed. Males grow to around nine pounds while females come in at seven. They're ready for slaughter in less than four months too. Number 10, the Speckled Sussex. We've done a video on the special Speckled Sussex. It's known for laying up to four large eggs per week. This chicken breed was added to the breed standard in 1900s and served as the primary meat bird along with the Rhode Island Red until hybrids were developed around World War II. Therefore, it's clear to see that this breed is wonderful for both meat and eggs. Number 11, the Egyptian Fayumi. You won't find the Egyptian Fayumi on every list of great chickens for eggs and meat, but we think it deserves a spot here for sure. This bird matures quickly, laying lots of eggs before it's ready to go to the dinner table. These active foragers perform well in hot climates, hence the name, and can be a bit wild. They aren't aggressive, but are known for their disease resistance. They're some of the smallest dual purpose breeds you can raise, only growing to about four or five pounds, but are still great birds to consider nonetheless. Number 12 is the Wyandotte. Like the speckled Sussex, the Wyandotte is another prolific layer known for producing up to four eggs each week. They come in a variety of colors, including blue, black buff, Colombian, partridge, silver penciled, silver laced, and golden laced. A similar bird to the Wyandotte you might consider is the Seabright, which is also more common overseas. Number 13, Favreau. Favreau is a chicken breed that was developed in France in the 1860s. This breed was originally bred to be raised for both eggs and meat. Now this breed is often raised as a pet for exhibition too. Number 14, the Brahma. Brahma chicken breed was developed in the US from large birds that were imported from Chinese port of Shanghai. Originally there were dozens of strains and names for the breed, but now it's known as the Brahma and raised both for meat and eggs. It's considered one of the best dual purpose breeds to consider if you're interested mostly in meat production. This chicken was America's primary meat breed until 1930 or so. And lastly, number 15, the Delaware breed. Last but not certainly least, this breed was one the most popular chicken breed in the U.S., but is now considered critically endangered. Nevertheless, it's one of the most beautiful chickens you can raise for both eggs and meat. Its plumage is breathtaking to behold, and it's also quite friendly. It's known for going broody, which is a plus if you want your hens to hatch their own eggs. Now, are dual-purpose chicken breeds right for you? So if you're new to raising chickens, it can be hard to know where to start. There are so many breeds of chickens out there, and each one has its own unique quality. So are dual-purpose chicken breeds the right fit for you? There's really no way to tell until you give them a try. However, there's many advantages to raising dual purpose chickens. They allow you to save space, money, and time by only caring for one flock rather than two separate meat birds and egg layers. 
Plus, unlike some of the improved commercial quality meat birds, dual purpose chickens can be raised as chicks right from the incubator. Is there anything better than being able to hatch your own eggs at home? I don't think so. Consider a few of these dual purpose chicken breeds as you're starting your flock. They're some of the best chickens for eggs and meat. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.